people are so Hey my friends, this is this is Mandeville on a Sunday, and this is the same Caledonia Road that usually is congested. Today is today is um, lonely, so we can go freely, but it doesn't mean that we have to speed. All right, so let's go slowly. Try to reach our destination. We passed uh, last week here. I was telling you at the right is the Mandeville Regional Hospital. But now we are coming in the opposite direction. Here at the left, we have the Seventh day Adventist Church, Mandeville. 400 meters, turn left onto New Green Road. And the Midway Mall. The road where we are driving right now is Caledonia Road. The road there that we just passed is Brumelia Road. And we will Take be... Take the next left onto New Green Road. We will be taking here New Green Road. If we see uh, right there at the front of the, the right is a Manchester Shopping Center. Very popular place here in Mandeville. Continue on New Green Road for two kilometers. So now... We left here, I indicated in the previous video that if you were coming right there when we passed Manchester Shopping Center, if you were coming right, then you will take New Green Road, which is this one. And this time we are heading to Spanish Town, so we will have to take the right to continue, we continue on uh, Winston Jones Highway. That's the road where we have to go. So this is New Green Road. And as you see, it's very lonely today. But it is because it's Sunday. You know? During the week, also have a lot of traffic. This is New Green Road. Mandeville. Temperature right now is 23 degrees Celsius. So it's... it's nice it's nice and cool and um, what time is it okay google what time is it the time is 5 44. so it's 5 44 right now Five forty-four p.m Right, let's continue our navigation. Thank you for coming with us, or coming with me today. Uh, I'm sure that we are going to enjoy In this. 500 road. meters at the roundabout, take the third exit. We're going to enjoy this ride. I'm actually heading to Linstead. Get into Linstead, uh, so I'm not sure if you want to go the whole journey to Linstead, but eventually it's going to get dark, so I'm not sure if we are going to see everything. Okay, so this is the new green runabout, and if we continue left, uh, we will go like if we are going to St. Elizabeth, or even if we want to go back to Mandeville, um, Mandeville Town. We can go there, but that's the roundabout. That's the road to go um, to Sport Tree. Continue for five kilometers. But in this one, we are just exit the roundabout, uh, coming on Winston Jones Highway, going down, like if we are heading to Kings 
storm right now. Very bumpy here, this part of the road. We feel the, the lot of vibration here on the car because this road is not, not smooth. At least that part, that section. And right at the front, you can see some beautiful mountains and these are the mountains here in Mandeville. They are nice, nice, nice. There is a nice view from here. As I said, um, even if the road is, is lonely today, let's try to keep the right speed. Because now somebody just bad, like he's flying. I'm trying to go just with the speed limit. Let's say here is 80 kilometers per hour. I'm going 80 as a trip, well, a little less than 80. Uh, just trying to keep limit and to be safe color and how he, he looks on the trees you know the trees um, they look that yellowish color I love it it's the, the summer sun it was beautiful it just remi remind me my little town in Colombia how it was um, and I used to enjoy the evening going to the river just being there until it was getting dark it was how you see the, the, the sun reflection uh, on the water it was nice and I guess that's one one of the reasons um, why I like Jamaica I see practically reminds me my tone in Colombia. In 600 meters, at the roundabout, take the second exit and stay on A2. Right, right there in front, um, we have the Holton Bakery. They produce a lot of uh, breads, um, bullas, and uh, a lot of different um, uh, bakery um, items they produce in there. So the entrance is through the other road that is here at the right. That is going like Royal Flat. We are getting here the runabout. If we go where that white um, car just went, that Exit will be the roundabout on A2. like going to Melrose Hill. Continue for 31 kilometers. Uh oh, they have blocked the road here. They are working. They are doing some work. All right. So. We are doing some work. Uh, we we just pass it. I hope that the work that they are doing there is improving this <laughs> this road. All right, let's continue on. 
this San John Highway heading down from here from this perspective because we have uh, only the front view you don't see but at the left there is a community it's a big community right there I see some pretty houses uh, I wish I could show you right now but the camera is just fixed there in the car so mm -hmm. I cannot turn it um, but there is a community right there some beautiful houses and you can see the mountains here so this look like it's a lovely place to live I love when I see trees ah, it's nice and cool it's silent that you can hear the birds in the morning uh, yeah. right, the sign there, even if it's hard to see, is 80 kilometers per hour. So let's continue. According to Google, um, I will be there in one hour and 29 minutes. So I am supposed to reach at 7.20. Oh, I'm going to reach at 8. I left late so we are going to reach at night so we'll try to show you as much as possible while we have um, sunlight and at the same time I am showing you that Google Maps work pretty well here it works very well here in, ja in Jamaica and um, right now let me see I have internet connection as well we have data my data is running perfectly uh, let's let's see if Google really is working so I'm going to ask about the weather okay Google how is the weather currently in the Manchester parish it's 27 degrees Celsius and mostly cloudy I'm not sure if you if you were able to hear that. Um, not sure the volume seems to be low. Let me see. Okay, Google. All right, let's turn the volume up a little bit. Worker mobile. No, I'm not calling. Okay, Google. How is the weather? Sorry, worker mobile. No, I'm not trying to I call. Still Sorry, it's because okay. Okay, Google. How is the weather? Right now in the Manchester parish, it's 27 degrees Celsius and mostly cloudy. Today, it will be mostly cloudy, with a forecast high of 32 and a low of 23. Yeah, the temperature as we are going down is increasing. So, right now in the car is telling me that it's 25 degrees Celsius. Google just told me it's 27 in Manchester, um, the parish. So, it's not, not so bad. But as we are going down, it's going to increase because... Uh, Clarendon is it's really hot compared to Mandeville. Careful here, there are some holes that they haven't fixed. One is here and the other one coming. All right. Big potholes in there, so I hope that you never go there because you can damage your front end or the tires. There is a runner here coming on my right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So take it easy, boy. All right. We just came here. This is Poros. This is Poros, Manchester. The speed right now here is 50 kilometers per hour. That's the speed that you had to go here and I'm going 50 
bill, don't want to be late, but I want to keep with the law. I'm going in the right speed, not just because of the police, but also for the safety because usually if you see the road so lonely, actually that's when you have to be more careful because probably there is something on the road you never know there is a child there is an animal uh, something fell on the road and because there is not so much traffic you are the first one who is going to face it so and to be extra careful as well but this is Horus it's quiet today as well Sign there, 50 kilometers. And this is a school zone of a church. We have a station. And uh, more schools the police station we just passed it at the right our Trinity Bastic Church oh I think my wife asked me to, to buy something somewhere here let's hope that this uh, the market is open. Oh no, it's closed. So it's closed. So I can't buy anything in there. So let's keep going. This is Four Roads, Manchester, Jamaica. You are traveling with Wellington, Mosquera. Oh. Just waiting and hoping that we can see the moss before the night comes. And thanks for traveling with me so I don't feel so lonely. I look like a crazy man talking along here, but uh, you know, I am thinking you are there listening, so that's why I don't pay attention. I just feel it. I feel it that uh, somebody is there here with me so I'm just talking because now you are watching the video so you are with me you are with me thanks very much for that starting to get warmer and warmer now it's 26 so I will have to turn on my AC because oh yeah yeah I feel hot I just love this this little part here. I, think. I love this part. The mountains, the trees, even the road in this part uh, looks nice. And we are driving behind the garbage truck. You know, the, the garbage trucks um, are blue. And on this story, we had this. Sign, welcome to Clarendon. So we have left Manchester now, and this is Clarendon. This is where Clarendon is starting. So now we have left the, the parish. We left Manchester, where the capital is Mandeville. And we are coming now to Clarendon, where the capital is Maypen. trees they are red and colorful um, you are seeing more traffic now okay 
temperature continue increasing now it's 27 degrees celsius i'm sure that google is going to tell me more but my car is showing me here 27 okay google what is the current temperature control gate right now it's 28 degrees celsius yes one one degree more than um what the car is indicating so you see that it's getting warmer as we continue moving but it told me toll gate this is not toll gate this is toll gate that they pick up this is very dear community very dear community you know actually there um here at the right there is a little i don't call it river because that's for me a river is, is something bigger but that's like a string um that is at the right and sometimes people come there to swim you see them um swimming having fun is no as i say it's not a river because to be a river it needs to be wider and uh, a little deeper but this one it's not that deep but uh, the water looks really clean i i stopped one day and i saw it so i will show you show you in a while uh, where people usually stop and they are swimming sometimes or refreshing themselves that's <laughs> not swimming refreshing themselves right. while you are watching this video and uh, if you still haven't clicked like i invite you to support this channel just let's click like on our videos if you if you like it if you want to support so we continue making more and more of these these videos then just give us your support also if you have not subscribed to our channel i invite you to subscribe uh, subscribe and also click there in the bell that you see beside so you get notifications whenever we upload a new video that's the way to go so you don't miss anything that we post sometimes we post things that are just happening so let's go it's getting dark now okay google what time is it It's 6.04 Hear it, it's 6 6.04 getting dark Okay, I'm right here. It's where people usually come to refresh what I was telling you. Right here and this part. Actually, there are a lot of persons right there now. Um, because it's, it's like the wider, the widest um, part of, of that stream that I told you is there. So like a pond in there, so people and refresh themselves this is a Scott's Pass Scott's Pass another community we are just just passing by let's ask Google to know if, to see if, if Google knows okay Google what is the name of this community On the website trulia.com, they say, 
Hmm, a community name is the designated nomenclature for a neighborhood, conclave, <laughs> or assembled community of neighbors, like-minded people or other assemblies. Alright, Google. Okay, this is Saint Tolly. Tolly? Yeah, it's another, another part. Alright. Google was thinking about that. Okay, Google. What is the name of this road? You are currently on A2. A2. Hmm. All right. We soon will leave this one and then come to a little wider. This will be the highway. Still driving behind the garbage truck. Uh, it's hard to overtake on this road because as you see it's very narrow and it's winding so it's really dangerous to overtake here. So if you have a truck in front, just go with it until you are able to to finish this this part of the road that's why I said always try not to be in a hurry when you are driving here in most places in Jamaica because if you find a vehicle that is in front of you or something then you will have to slow down or you will find people do, doing crazy things um, like driving crazy so better if you have an appointment start leaving early leave early so you just go slowly with all the patience of, of this or if you if you need to drive so let's not do anything crazy we just go normal speed and when we get there to the highway once we clear it um by, we are going to, oh sorry this is juicy patties here uh, clarendon but okay um once i was saying once we we pass here the the train the rail the rail um then we are able to overtake that truck but for now let's not try anything crazy right so once we are here it's a wider road and we have more chances to to be able to overtake but still let's keep it there all right um also the cheapest gas stations are on this session the one that we just passed there beside juicy patties at the right there is total gas and then uh, another gas station is coming that is cool oasis that one is cool oasis and uh, there is another one further that is it in the taco one that's in uh, what's the name of this place um osborne store those three gas stations are practically the cheapest one in, in on this area practically i will say in jamaica today we we the price is 150 50 right now for the 90 that is the the gas that we purchased for this vehicle so it's really expensive i'm not stopping because um we came here on friday I just fill up uh, the tank so I still have gas. When I'm coming back, I just top it up. Alright, the speed here is supposed to be 80. We are going 60. Just waiting where we find a um, clear spot so we can pass these vehicles. For now, risky
Welcome to New Land, Clarendon. Oh, by the way, um, something that you are going to notice here when you are in Clarendon is that most of the land is just flat. It's flat. You don't see mountains right now here in Clarendon. Clarendon is flat. It's like the valley of Jamaica, right? It's very flat. What uh, the people do here, uh, there are a lot of farms. People planting sugar cane. Uh, people also had cows here in, in Clarendon. Safe, if not safe, all right. The truck is seems like it's going to stop. So we go. All right, this is Tollgate, a community we just passed it as well. Now we can go a little faster 80 kilometers per hour. That's the speed limit here, and let's keep it. Should say something because I'm getting uh, getting bored. Just talking alone. So say something. <laughs> Put a comment in there right now, man. Uh, a comment so I don't feel so lonely. I know that you were here and you were listening this part of the video, and uh, you can tell me how is the journey so far. Just write it down in a comment. So I, 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 I know that I will know that I wasn't driving alone. Okay, look at this house here. It's a pretty house. The color, I don't know if I like it that much. It's an orange color, but the house is, is beautiful. Alright, we are almost coming now to Osborne store where we are going to find the other gas station. Why, ay, ay. When you come on the road, right? You saw just what that car did, right? When you are coming, try to move away fast because the car that is coming already is coming. Let's say I was coming at 80 and you are coming on the road and you take too long to accelerate your car so you are coming like 20 so probabilities that if i am distracted i will hit your back i will have to brake hard to reduce from 80 to 20 so try when whenever you are just coming and joining the highway just as fast as you can to match the speed of the vehicle that is coming behind you all right all right let's let's keep going that car is a nissan a nissan 80 wagon they use that the, um that kind of car here a lot for taxi Cyclists. They use it a lot for taxi. Eddie Wagon. Because they are not so expensive. A Nissan. Alright. So this one is stopping. So this is the other gas station that I was telling you about. This is Osborne store and this is the Tetsako gas station. Heavy traffic. Wow. That side of the road have a lot of heavy traffic. Let's keep going. Once we have some um, daylight, we have to enjoy it see as much as we can Ooh. 
right here we have another because this is Toyota. Most of cars here in Jamaica you will see a lot of Toyota, Honda, this is Honda, see Honda, Toyota, Nissan, the most predominant um, brands here. And then BMW, BMW, you have um, what else? Mitsubishi. Just for telling you, some some of the most popular brands here in, in Jamaica. Ah, Suzuki as well. We have a lot of those. Welcome to um, Berkeley, Berkeley Plain, Berkeley Plain, couldn't read it properly. Enjoying this ride, this ride, 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 ride. And these trucks, a lot of them Isuzu. Isuzu. That's a uh, popular brand here in those trucks. Isuzu, another one. BMW, BMW, Toyota. Toyota, Nissan. Toyota. Toyota. Most of them you see Toyota, BMW, Toyota. This one is uh, Toyota as well. Next one is you see Nissan Honda and Toyota. So if you can see Toyota is the most popular brand here. Wow, what a church! I love it. It looks nice. There is a truck in front, that's what I see. No, it's not a big truck, but it's the one that is um, it's the one holding the traffic right now. Whew. Temperature is still 28 degrees Celsius. Well, we are expecting that this uh, expecting can go down because uh, the evening, the night is coming, so temperature has to go down. Okay, Google, what is the current temperature? In four paths right now, it's 28 degrees Celsius. It's telling me four paths. This is not four paths. Right? You saw it four paths, we passed in long time ago. This showing me actually this is four parts. That's what this showing me on Google. It's four parts. Oh yes, what we passed was a scold part, sorry. Here on the left we have some chicken farm. Chicken farm. It's four parts, yes, for real. That's my bar. Yeah. Do 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 do. Cars. Toyota. Or you go fast, or I will have to pass. But don't leave it too much space. We need to go, 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 and an adventure. Hey, nobody can pass that truck. Nobody can pass the truck. Come on. All right, we saw that we could make it, so better come back. Could make it. Let's 
do it, let's do it. All right, here the boss is going to make it. Another 1K. Let's do it. See the truck that is right in front of this taxi is the one holding the traffic. So we will have to pass it if we want to really go somewhere. Can we go and Alright, we have to go. Three to one, let's go. way otherwise we are going to stay here we are not going to, to reach the highway it's getting very dark what uh, okay Google what time is it 622 622 you see time is flying And we soon, we soon reach here to the highway. Okay, right now here, if you go left, like here, if you go left, you will go into Maypen. If you go right, then you continue on the highway. Like, let's say, if you are going to Old Harbor, or you are just going to continue to Spanish Tongue or Kingston, you go right here. In 600 meters, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto PJ Patterson Highway. All right. The P.J. Patterson Highway, and a lot of people have been <laughs> telling me why the name, why the name, but it's not my fault. That's the name that it was given to the highway, P.J. Patterson. They don't want the name, some people don't want the name. That's the name that was given, so there is nothing you can do. I just put the name that it's right there. So left, you go Old Harbor. Right here, we continue. Exit the roundabout onto PJ Patterson Highway. Continue. On continue the for 33 kilometers. Do we hear it? All right. Once here on the highway. Speed limit is 110 kilometers per hour. 110 kilometers per hour. That's the speed that I currently have. 110. Trying to make it. Now Google is telling me I will reach at 719. So we have only gone one minute left. Seven nineteen PM. Let's ask Google. Okay, Google. What time should I arrive? I Google didn't know that. You should one. reach your destination by 7.18 p.m. Okay, well, came down another minute. That's good. One, two, three, 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 three. 
Alright, this is the first tool that we are approaching. This one for this vehicle costs 110 Jamaican dollars. 110 Jamaican dollar. That's the first one. Uh, mineral Heights. Good evening. Thank you. Right, let's go. This was the first one. So reminding you, the second one, the second one will be four hundred and forty Jamaican dollar. Speed limit should be one hundred and ten kilometers per hour. It's all designed right there. It's getting dark. Right now it's 6.27 p.m. highway it should be boring for me to be talking because there is nothing for me to show you there is nothing to talk about but let's talk about um, what else do you want to see well I'm sure that a lot of people are going to come now and tell me oh can you go to Montego Bay, can you go to Ocherios? Can you go to Kingston? But uh, let me tell you something. You saw the prices for gas? You saw the price for the toll? Alright. So apart from that, it's time, right? So all these things require investments for us to, to be going all these journeys. So that's why I cannot be going all over the place but what I try to do is every time I'm going to a destination then if I remember that somebody was asking me about a place that is close by then I try to detour and go to that area so in that way I get I get to to record the video that you were asking but this is not something that happens all the time because say you I, I say it requires that I am really going going that direction so once I'm going believe me I'm going to do it but for some of you you want it right now it can take a while I don't travel every day just do these things practically during vacation time or when I get a chance to go uh, somewhere that's why most of the videos that you see are Monday videos alright so let's keep going thanks again if you just uh, joining this video let's say because you probably went forward you are just listening I invite you I invite you to 
like the video or if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, so you know you're aware of when when we up the, uh, upload more videos also don't forget to activate the, the bell notification bell that is uh, bell oh, I sorry my pronunciation all the time the bell bell B E L L that is there so you receive the notification as soon as we upload a new video it's getting dark now okay Google what time is it 631 631 let's check the temperature okay Google how is the temperature? It's 28 for me. The temperature in Clarendon Parish right now is 29 degrees Celsius. Alright. It's 29. At least 28 here in the car. So let's keep going. Old School Bridge is the name of that one. You know my first impression when I came to Jamaica. So I was thinking that um, I was thinking they didn't have good roads here in Jamaica. Even if the roads are bad, practically, yes, but. I wasn't expecting to see this kind of, of road, like highway. I was thinking that uh, when I was coming to Jamaica, I was going to see <laughs> like desert. You know, when like the way how they show in these movies when when you go to Africa, like in safari, it is just dust. That's what I was thinking, and I was surprised then when um, when I came out of the airport and then I started, I got in, into the car, I went to pick me up, and got to see now the road. I was wow, 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 especially as well that there's so much driving, you may think like coming to Jamaica probably because it's an island yes it's an island Jamaica is an island then you think that um, probably it will be like what 20 kilometers in total that you will drive to go around the island but no see it's far 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 just driving and driving and driving you can see that um, a long distance we left and it was daylight we are driving up 110 kilometers per hour right now and still is saying that we are going to reach at 7 70 p.m. and it's just 6 34 right now so as you can see it's a it's, it's long distances practically long distances Check the weather in Linstead. Okay, Google. How is the weather in Linstead? Right now in Linstead, it's 28 degrees Celsius and partly cloudy. The forecast tonight is 25 and mostly cloudy. All right, no rain. That's good. We are approaching the other toll, a few kilometers away. probably two I can see the light from here and that one is the 440 US dollar hey, no US sorry 440 Jamaican um, dollar that I told you it will cost the name of this bridge that we are about to pass is Sharper's Lane Bridge that's the name of that one
here we can see the light for the toll already. Practically this is the only place um, here that you can really go at a normal speed without too much concern about corners or the traffic like you are going to hit somebody or somebody is going to hit you this is the highway so this is where really you can get your car to um, blow out some of the the gases that are there in the muffler oh shit be patient man oh yeah some people look at that only two of these things open see only two so for so much traffic People in the bikes doing crazy things, you see? So this is a bike. Now the security is calling his attention because, because this is a bike just passing, passing, passing the other vehicles. Just moving in front of them. And that's not right. They are on the toll. Everybody has to be waiting in the line. You can overtake once you leave this, but if you are in the toll, please respect the line. Respect, respect the line. Not just because you are in a bike, you are going to be passing everybody. You know, that's the respect. Alright, we are going to be here for a while. Yes, Google, we are going to be here for a while. Let's check if uh, how the weather for tomorrow. Okay, Google. Do I need umbrella in Mandeville tomorrow? No, it won't rain tomorrow in Mandeville. It'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 28 and a low of 19 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's good. Okay, Google. What about Tuesday? Yes, it'll rain in Mandeville Tuesday from noon to 5 p.m. Okay, Google. Tell me about the weather in this location. Good afternoon. Evening.
night is coming and we haven't reached Spanish Town yet. Hmm. Can we reach Spanish Town? It's a seat of 41. Seat of 41. Now we are experiencing uh, longer days. I mean, when I say longer days, I mean that we have more sunlight a little later. Pass this one. Let's go. Five kilometers. Take the exit. Okay, five kilometers. Okay, five kilometers. Five kilometers that Google is telling me uh, we have to make a left turn to go into Spanish town and then um, we go to Spanish town well we are not going to in go three kilometers take the exit yeah, we are not going to go into Spanish town uh, we just we just pass there we use the, the bypass and continue our way to Linston. So we don't go into the town, just use the bypass. All right, there is another bridge coming here. Take the exit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
just allow this one to go. Alright, you good? 500 meters. Alright. 200 meters. Take the exit. 100 meters. Oh, the fire. They're burning the land. Continue for one kilometer. And here we go. Be careful here not to go too fast. There are some of these uh, things, how you call them? Uh, this thing that may uh, punch your tires, so be careful with them. In 400 meters, at the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit the roundabout. Continue for one and a half kilometers. Alright, I don't know what else you can see. This is it's now dark. We are now into Spanish town. It's really dark now, so it's not much what you can see. However, a little more light ahead if you still want to to, to be here uh, it's okay uh, let me tell you the internet we have LTE connection uh, in here so it's, it's, it's good Five hundred meters at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Spanish Town Bypass Road A one. Exit the roundabout onto Spanish Town Bypass Road. See, as I told you, if you go right, you go into the town. While we continue here left. Continue on A1 for 5 kilometers. Uh, we come here left to continue our way to Linstead. And the night is already here. The temperature is decreasing. Now we have 27. Okay, Google. What is the current temperature? In Spanish town right now, it's 28 degrees Celsius. Yes, it's decreasing. Still, I feel hot. Bumpy, bumpy, 
bumpy, bumpy, bumpy road. It's so hard to get. Bumpy, 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 bumpy road. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy road, bumpy, 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 bumpy road, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy road, up, da 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 da. Driving with those lights so bright. So we cannot see. Another rail railway um, crossing right now. Have to go. The traffic light we are expecting to change. Changing, 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 changing to green. Vamos. We are going to Linstead. Yes, we are going. Going to Linstead. Yes, we are going. Going, going to Linstead. Traffic is here, heavy. I wanted to come during the day to show you this. Well, in another occasion I will show you. During the day. So we could see the river um, Rio Cobre, the Zimbabwe walk.
In 300 meters, at the roundabout, take the first exit and stay on A1. This roundabout coming here is the Angels. Um, it's the Angels, the Angels Plaza. It's a place to stop if you want to eat something. There is a KFC right there. Kind of. Exit the roundabout on A1. In 600 meters, turn right. There used to be a lot of um, different shops in this plaza. Many of them have closed now. There used to be a supermarket. There is no supermarket anymore. And a lot of um, the places are closed. However, still there is a KFC, a uh, few places in there. And here, the take the next right. This traffic light that is telling us about taking the right is because it's a new highway that they built. It will take you straight into Linston. I'm not, to, I'm not going to take In 300 meters, turn right. I'm not going to take the highway right now. I'm going through the old road. That was a bulk walk. Oh. The highway is too expensive. It's like 260, I think, or 280. Just for a little, little bit. I went uh, one. Take the next right. Just for the experience. Continue on A1 for 9 kilometers. That's Japanese, uh, that's the integrated system in the car, that's to turn off the screen, you say Gamen Keshi, you turn off the screen. Japanese. So don't ask me if I know Japanese as well. Well, I know a few words in, uh, in Japanese. I've been learning. Uh, Japanese is a language that I, I really would like to learn. Especially I started learning uh, because of the, the car. This car is a Japanese car. Um, some navigation, navigation system in Japanese voice commands in Japanese, so we'll have to learn. <laughs> I want to learn Japanese to be able to control and take advantage of everything that is here integrated. 